in this video, we'll be watching rich people get arrested. Like, when rich people think they can't get arrested type stuff, but, like, they can get arrested. Like, so we'll be watching it. Like, we about to see what's going on. Hold on. What? Why yeah. I, look like, I look like I will fall for some shit. Say what? I don't know. But, yeah, we about to watch this. You feel me? Stay tuned. Because, listen, we about to watch it. We, we all know money can change people. They, they got a rich but what happens when rich. girls are born into wealth and never understand that their actions have consequences? Call my father. No. no. He owns the island. Here are three Ooh, examples what? of when rich girls thought they were above the law. Starting in New Mexico. Oh, Police were made aware of a black SUV driving erratically, almost hitting multiple other vehicles. Luckily, it wasn't too difficult for the cops to catch the driver, as her own ridiculous driving ended up getting her backed into a corner with barely any persuasion from the cops. However, when the cops went to identify the driver, they discovered the last thing they expected. Well, my name is Officer Solomon with the Hospital Department, okay? The reason I'm making contact with you is because we got a call in that you're intoxicated driving, okay? Obviously... When I saw you, you just drove onto a curb and almost struck a fence, okay? So I'm going to need you to step out. Okay? The driver is clearly out of it and absolutely should not have been driving. However, the most interesting part of this case is that the woman in the car is actually the police sergeant's girlfriend. So the case had to be handed over to a different department due to a conflict of interest. And unfortunately for her, they weren't messing around. You know it's against the, against the law to be driving under the influence, correct? Okay, you do know that, right? So I don't know why you think you're above the law because of who you're dating. You're going to get out of the car, I'm going to have to pull you out. Okay, okay, we're not playing a game like you did with the other officers. Okay? Are you going to get out of the car? What game are we playing? I'm not playing any game with you. Are you going to get out of the car? Yes or no? No. Okay. Out of one, out of one, ground. Really? Yeah, really. Really? What the f***? You're going to listen. You don't get any favors because who you're dating. You understand that? Don't resist. I'm gonna stop. I can call all your kids. Right? You're on 14 in the car. Stop. No. Yeah, stop. You already messed stop. up. Stop, man. We're 15 one time. You're not wrong. Stop. You're wrong. Stop. Just want to leave. 12 hours of uninterrupted pain. Come on now. I'll leave. You can't do that. This isn't where the insanity ends. What could possibly be worse than driving drunk through residential streets at rush hour? Doing exactly that, but with a baby in the car. I'm sorry. I mean, I just don't, I don't know her issue. I'm so embarrassed. I don't... I tried. Was the child inside the car? You grabbed the car. You grabbed the kid? Yeah, I watched him get the kid out of the car. Yeah, I did. Because I was pulling Okay, get the child's information? Yeah. Are you, I guess your mom? Grandma. Grandma? I had no clue. Child. Deputy Sanchez with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you need medics to come see you? Okay. Okay, so they're going to switch out the cuffs, okay? The cops are trying to do everything they can to treat the woman with respect, but it seems she's just too snide and disrespectful to do the same back, as she immediately starts to pick fights with the officers. Ready? You. The only thing it feels like she didn't do was attempt to run away after her arrest. But luckily, this girl had her covered on that front. Stop! Hi, how you doing? Was I speeding? No, you weren't speeding. You don't have your back lights on. They don't turn on. They're automatic. These are auto lights that come on. So that's... 
that's what's on right now. Okay. It only... You don't have any way to turn them on? My back lights? Yeah, so like a lot when of times... When I break? No, like your tail lights just aren't on at all. So oh, when you break shoot. your... When you break, your lights will activate, said, oh, but, like, shit. when you're just driving on the road Being regularly. These are just auto lights. I don't really yeah. know how to fix that. Already the way this girl is talking is a little suspicious. She seems louder than you'd expect and occasionally talks over the officer without realizing it. But it's a little too early to call at this point. However, after just a couple minutes, the cop notices an all-too-familiar scent in the car. And have you guys been drinking? No. No? Nobody's been drinking at all? Okay. She just got off at Chimps. Okay. It smells like alcohol in the car. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Mm. So if... We don't have any alcohol in the car. I know. I know. I'm saying it, if you have been drinking, it smells like somebody's been drinking. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. All right. So you haven't had... None of you have had anything we to drink? We were at a party. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, just give me one sec. I'm going to be right back with you, okay? Please okay. Stop you you can tell them they're the right. ones in the... One of the back seats drunk for sure, and I tried to explain to the driver that I was like, somebody's been drinking in this car. And they're like, no, we haven't been drinking. So, what did you or something? No, she just, I didn't even ask because they just kept going off on, they kept telling me a bunch of stupid information that I didn't need to know. And the chick was like, oh, well, I don't have my ID on me. So she gave me her name and date of birth. Yeah. In this situation, it would have been far smarter for the girls in the back to admit they were drunk, as all lying did was make the cops suspicious. Remember, drinking is not a crime of its own, but driving drunk is. So if the scent was coming from the girls in the back, that would explain everything. But now the cop is worried that the driver is lying too, and heads back to see if he's right. So, Jada, you said you had nothing to drink tonight, right? No. Okay. Would None you of mind us, just doing a few tests for me? None of us. But you pull me over for lights. Isn't that a warning? No, it can be a ticket. I've gotten pulled over for my lights not being on, and I've sworn every time yeah, it's, that's it's, a warning. It's a it's a violation, so you can you can write somebody a ticket for it. So my lights didn't come on in the back. I explained what do you mean that by... to you. They weren't on. What is that like? What do you mean by lights? Your lights were not on in the back. When that I means breaks? that nobody could see oh you God. when you were driving down the road if they were behind you. you don't okay, you haven't had anything to drink, right? No, I okay. mean. We went to a party, but I don't think that anything that we were, like, containing or anything like that okay. has us under the influence as being drunk. Okay. Yeah, that's a convincing argument. But the yeah. cop still has to do his due diligence and put her through the same field sobriety tests, which you've all likely seen before. The horizontal gaze test, the walk and turn, and the one leg stand. But when he finds out the driver was only 20 years old, he realizes he has to head to the breathalyzer test. Remember, anyone under the age of 21 is prohibited from drinking at all before driving it so she has to blow absolute zero in order to head home tonight but the officers could have never expected this turn of events i'm not gonna lie to you i'm very nervous i just peed my pants okay. so possibly we can go to the bathroom or just be behind it wish me be fast there is no restroom open all right so do me a favor all right i'm sorry it's okay <laughs> With Spot Me, I can overdraft up to two hundred dollars fee free. Install the Chime app today. It's all right. I really have to go to the bathroom. It's okay. All right. Can you just blow into this until it clicks? <laughs> no. Hang on. Just a nice steady breath, okay? okay? All right. Go ahead. All right. Hang on. It's got it. You got to I'm sorry. I'm literally it's going okay. to the bathroom it's okay. right now. So can I, I can give you a second. Can I just go pee? Really? You can come with me. You can literally come with me. I don't care, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Okay, I mean, if if you absolutely can't hold it, we can make that work, I guess. She can come with me, but I'm literally okay. being my pants right now. Okay, all right, she can go with you. A couple minutes later, the girl returns to finally take the breathalyzer test. We'll get this set up again for you. Okay. Yeah, just blow in this nice steady breath until it clicks, okay? Like. Yep. We're at a point one zero three. Okay. Point one zero three. What does that mean? Under zero point. That means you're over the legal limit. Okay. Okay. So you do have to be placed under arrest. Okay. Okay. Put your so hands are you gonna your back are you gonna me. take them home? They're gonna they're getting picked up. So. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you being cooperative. Yep. After blowing just over the legal limit, the girl is placed under arrest and the cop thanks her for being cooperative. But it seems that he may have spoken too soon. Because just moments later, for some absurd reason, she does this. Is it possible you can come here with me again? 
What's that? I don't need a female watch officer to watch me. I don't want to pee my pants again. They come with me outside. You can follow me. We're, we're literally going to the police department. It's like a mile away. I'm peeing on your seat. Right now? Yes. <laughs> Hang on, don't get out. Don't get out. There's a car coming. Stop! No! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! She ain't going nowhere. Stop! Hey, Six, we got one taking off on us. She's trying to drive away. She's an idiot. Yeah, she wants me to just get out the car now. Get her seat back for us. Will have ever made. I own the act of witnesses. Get out of the. Get out of the vehicle. You got to bro. I own the act of witnesses. This is already one of the strangest traffic stops this officer will have ever made, and it's only about to get weirder. She's refusing to comply. Get, hey. get out of the vehicle. You got to stop, bro. Mm -hmm. I own the actively resistant. Get out of the... Get out of the vehicle! feel distressing until you realize okay, it's caused by nothing other than the suspect's own incompetence. This girl intentionally ignored order after order from the officer and fled the scene multiple times. If she doesn't know what she did wrong, that's entirely her fault. Maybe that's the reason she's screaming for her father so much, something she continues to do long after being detained. No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here. I call my father. No, no. He owns the island. 11, you can okay. really see her. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. Then what are you How old do? are you? How old are you? I'm 24. Okay, 24, we don't need to call your dad. Yeah. You could have okay. killed someone. No. Yes, you could. Yeah, I could have killed you too, but you're oh. alive, right? Oh. Something is clearly very... No time. All right, you guys, that's it in this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We just see. Yeah. What time is it? It is 3.24. And the grind never stops. A.M. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe, y'all. Trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year. Get them to it. Come on. Let's not subscribe. play. Subscribe.